My name is Rob. I am a musician. I do hip hop. I also do spoken word jazz. Um, how I came to the Media Lab. There was an artist in residence, Victor, um, who knew me as a performer around, and he kind of had said to me one time, he's like, "You should come down to the to this place. I want you to see this place." And I'm like, "All right, yeah, okay." And I never really thought about it because the funny part is I, I had come to the library for years, even before it became the re the new reno, the newly renovated library anyway. Um, and then one day I happened to see him walking. He's like, you are going to come with me right now. And I was like, okay, cool. So then like we walked over to this corner and I kind of started getting nervous because it was in the back of the library. I'm like, I don't know what's about to go on. But anyway... So he ended up walking in, and I ended up seeing this place, and like, it was like angels started singing. I was like, oh, it was like really beautiful. So it was like, okay, cool. I saw the recording equipment, I saw the computers, and I was like, well, he's trying to tell me something. So um, that's when I pretty much approached Nate, who runs the Media Lab, and we kind of started talking, and he started talking about all the things that could be done in the Media Lab. And pretty much it happened to be that everything the Media Lab offered was the things that I didn't have as a musician. I mean, I think that people, you know, at least in my city and regionally knew about me as a performer, but I didn't have the, the, the smaller things that really made the package. Like, you know, as far as like photo work, you know, design work. Um, video work I, I never you know I've only made one video in my entire life and that was you know quite a while before I came to the media lab so it's like okay this is interesting um, and once I came and saw the media lab I knew that this is the place that I needed to be I was like, okay in order for me to do this this is where I need to come in and do things um, I had just I had just resigned from my position at, at my at my former job, and I was like, yo, man, I'm going to do music full time. And then all of a sudden, like I said, Victor brought me here, and I'm like, wow, this just really doesn't happen this way too often. Um, so then I kind of talked to Nate about what, what kind of programs were being offered, and he started telling me about the classes and stuff. And I pretty much just said, hey, man, I'm going to take as much time as I need to to kind of learn these these processes. So, like, I started coming to the audio class on Mondays with Sadie and, and, and Audrey and on Wednesdays. Um, I remember coming into Photoshop classes with Ryan and just coming in and learning stuff. Um, then I started doing video work with, with Josh from WYLU. So I kind of started, there was like a three- to six-month process where I just kind of started soaking up information from each person and really kind of learning things and then started applying it to what is now the album that I'm working on, which is pretty much about 80% done. Um, I, through the Media Lab, I have been able to design my entire album cover as well as all of my promotional materials. Um, I shot a video for for the project. I watched the second video for the project. Shucky, ducky, quack, quack. Rap is just a half black. That's the very reason that I dug up in my backpack. With a real rap back. Ain't too many got that. Don't fear how they spit. I show the sort of act. Rap about jewels. Well, homie, where the jewels at? Talk about tools. Well, homie, where the tools at? Chill on the tough talk. You sound like where the fools at? This more the opposite. This, this is where the cool's at. Uh huh. Oh my. Oh yeah. That's hot. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh my. That's hot. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh my. That's hot.